They call this the power air for a reason. It's got so much power. Let's get into the full review. So in this review, we'll get into the specs and pricing of this paddle. We'll talk about the performance. And lastly, we'll talk about who this paddle is best for. All right, let's start off with performance of this paddle. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go from power to spin to control, and then finally aesthetics. I'm gonna rate each category from one to three. Uh, so we'll start off right away with power. So this paddle had unbelievable power. Uh, I first picked it up a few weeks ago, uh, played with it for a while, but right when I picked it up, I, I noticed like the ball is just popping off the paddle was missing some long to start. With my drives, I could just completely rip the ball. Three out of three for power. I did feel like, you know, singles especially was really great for moving the ball around. And then in doubles, when I'm, when I'm trying to be really aggressive, had a lot, a lot of pop on it. Spin, it, I, I would put this right up there with a top tier paddle, a top spin paddle, uh, because I, I really felt like it had a lot of good spin. Uh, not only on my serves, but as I'm hitting uh, slices, as I'm hitting dinks, drops, topspin, anything I was trying to get a good amount of spin, I always, I always like to use as a test the flick, the backhand flick over the net. And I really felt like uh, with that, I was able to get nice, good spin over the ball. So spin, I would give a three out of three as well. When it comes to control, this paddle, despite it kind of, when I first went out, I said, you know, this kind of feels like a piece of wood compare it to the Project 003. That paddle is extremely soft. It actually sounds quiet coming off the paddle. This, this is a much louder noise. It has a, you know, quite a bit of uh, poppy noise coming off, but you know, it still, still has good control. I'm giving it a two out of three because it's definitely not a control power or control paddle because of the power it has. I still felt like I had enough control to where I felt comfortable. It's like just on that edge where like, you know, it's got a ton of power, but uh, maybe just enough control to be, to be comfortably playing with it. Finally, let's talk about the aesthetics of this paddle. I, I would say just like the Project 003, it, you know, very similar design. Selkirk has done a great job of just making the paddles look extremely appealing. This cutout sleek, uh, the edgeless guard, I think is just a cool design. Uh, not having that kind of cheap looking guard on the outside of it. Uh, and then they, they do come in some different colors. So uh, this is the white and black one, but I know there's a white and red one. Aesthetics, I, I gotta give it a, a three out of three as well, cause it's just a cool, it's a cool looking paddle. All right, let's cruise right through the specs for this paddle. So this paddle is one of the thinnest paddles on the market, coming in at half an inch, or if I did my calculations correct, 12.7 millimeters. Uh, so very thin paddle. It's got that edgeless sleek, it's the edgeless guard. It's a very sleek looking. This paddle, pretty standard weight, coming in at 7.7 .7 to 8.1 ounces. The paddle length is 15 and three quarters by eight inches wide and then it's a, a five and a quarter inch grip the handle length and then finally this panel does have that uh, unique smiley face cut out uh, supposed to help the panel be more aerodynamic so that you can swing through quicker uh, this panel does come in at 250 dollars all right now let's answer the really important question who is this paddle actually for? Real quick before we do that, please hit that like button. Uh, it really does help us out. So this paddle is gonna be primarily for two different players. Uh, it, it's really an all around good, good paddle for a lot of people, but the two specifics I would say, number one, it's the, that player that is really an aggressive player, attacks a lot. So you're looking for even more power to uh, strengthen your strengths even more. The second type of player this is for is really for that all around player. So you're looking to maybe add a weapon to your game. Right now you're, you're pretty good at everything, but there's not one thing in your game that really stands out. So you're looking maybe to elevate a portion of your game and that could be the power that this paddle brings. This paddle is not gonna be for someone that's a really patient player. Your strengths are defense. 
you know, really kind of the opposite of the Project 003. This paddle doesn't, doesn't give a strength to the control player. This paddle wouldn't be for you if that's the case. Uh, it's also $250, so if you're a beginner, new to the game, this is really top of the line paddle. Uh, so, so maybe not the, the first paddle to start off with, although I did play with someone. Uh, he's a tennis player, he doesn't play much. I let him use this paddle and he was hooked right away. And he, you know, he's like, I'm going to buy this paddle. Don't really need to try other paddles because this paddle is just, it felt so good to him. Because again, he's an aggressive tennis player. He came in and was being an aggressive pickleball player and this felt really good for him. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please again, hit that like button. Stay tuned for more videos like this. Quick, before you go, we've got a discount code from Selkirk. It'll be in the description. So if you do want to pick up one of these paddles, check out the description for a discount.